It happened this past week, the brutal killing of former Boston crime boss James Whitey Bulger. Bulger was a notoriously merciless killer of anyone who stood in his way. His place in the popular imagination, cemented by the 2015 film Black Mass with Johnny Depp. I'm making a deal with the feds. An alliance. Incredibly, Bulger was an FBI informant for years, ostensibly passing on tips about the rival Italian-based mafia. When his FBI handler warned him in late 1994 that he was about to be indicted, Bulger went on the lam, triggering a 16-year manhunt that ended in 2011 with his capture in California. Tried and convicted of multiple murders and other crimes, Bulger was sentenced to two consecutive life terms. Moved to the Hazelden, West Virginia prison just this past Monday, Bulger was allegedly beaten to death within 12 hours by two other prisoners, one of them reputedly a former Massachusetts mafia hitman. Bulger's lawyer pinned the blame for the killing on the government, saying he was sentenced to life in prison, but as a result of decisions by the Federal Bureau of Prisons, that sentence has been changed to the death penalty. Whoever's to blame, the news of Bulger's death was welcome news back in Boston to the families of many of his victims. He deserved a slow death, and that's what I hope he got. I'm going to buy myself a bottle of champagne, and I'm going to pop that cork. James Whitey Bulger was 89.